All right, first up is uh, PVP. Now, uh, in Pro Video Player, I'll go ahead and start it all. I'll shut it down, and then I will kind of walk you through how it works. Um, you have to make sure that you're getting uh, DMX information into your PVP. Uh, so we use an Entech DMX USB Pro, and that's about 100 and I don't know, 30, 140, 150 bucks on their website, uh, Entech.com, E-N-T-T-E-C.com. And we had it from another lighting project that we did, so I just plugged it in. And then you run the Pro Utility to make sure that it's actually connecting with um, your uh, your computer. They all say go find Pro and connect, and it will do that. Now I had a lot of issues with this in the past because if I was trying to run this at the same time as PVP, it would conflict and it wouldn't pick it up. So I shut that down. I confirmed that it was actually working. I op I open up PVP. Now I'm not actually using the output of PVP. Now this is a demo mode, and in the demo mode you get uh, watermarks over the output, but I'm not actually using the output. I'm just using this as an intermediary between uh, my lighting board and um, ProPresenter and the advanced module that we did purchase. So I don't even bother registering it. Um, and then here's the, uh, the layout. Inside preferences, uh, you go to the DMX panel and make sure that everything is um, set up. You specify what base address it is. Um, of course, you've got to set that on your console as well. Um, and then you can set if you want like a lot of fine-tuning abilities, but I found that they create more problems than they solve, so I don't mess with that. This is just used for firing and uh, transition speeds. Um, so that's the preferences. And then inside your network, you make sure it's connecting to the other computer. So every time I start this up, I've got to uh, make sure it's finding it. I'll do a quick scan, and I'll enable it to control it. And then when I click this right here, it should start up. Yep. It did. It started up the video. So now I can confirm that PVP is working. Now, on the lighting console ends of things, you've got to install the fixture to make this guy work. Um, so that's all in the patchwork, and you can download, at least for Jans Vista, you can download uh, a fixture file that someone's already created on the Renewed Vision forum, um, and I'll post a link to that on the blog as well. And uh, once you get that going, this is my fixture right here, and then I've got some, um, some tweakables off to the right that I can run. So here is where I specify um, you know, the layer input directory which is basically the playlist item and then the, uh, the I'm sorry, the uh, just the playlist and then this is the actual item itself. So I would specify the fourth folder because in my PVP there it is, it's the fourth folder and it's also the fourth folder on my uh, Pro Presenter 4 as well. So then you, when you tell it to fire off the first queue, it'll fire off that one. Fire off the second queue, that's that one. Doesn't really matter what the content is. You can see here I've actually put some placeholders just in numbers uh, for the operators. Um, just uh, clarity there. And uh, it will automatically uh, fire those off. So when I advance to the proper um, step in my programming, it will uh, fire off the corresponding DMX value according to the channels. And uh, it will fire off uh, the background. So that's how that all gets uh, synchronized. Um, you're welcome to give me, a, you know, send me an email or whatever on the blog, and I'll uh, try my best to explain it to you. This spent prob took me about probably about 15 to 20 hours to get it all working, uh, but hopefully I can help someone else avoid the common mistakes that I did. So uh, God bless. Hope it works okay for you.